What's up, everybody? It's Lazy Nate coming here with a review of Arby's Spicy Prime Rib Sandwich. On top of that, we got a couple spicy announcements here. And after I finish the sandwich, or I think a couple bites at least, um, here we go. Arby's spicy prime rib sandwich should be delicious. Arby's is usually pretty good considering everything. A little fry action going as usual. Here's the sandwich. We'll open it up a little bit. Can't quite get it in there, but you know, we're working on that. Stuck on the side of the carbon. For a primary prime rib cheesesteak, this isn't bad. Just enough spicy to kick your tongue going. It ain't gonna last, but it tastes really good. I'm actually pleasantly surprised compared to the last review. Um, mm. There's half the sandwich. It's pretty good. As is, let's see. Yep, I just dripped on my shirt a little bit. Nice. Fun, 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 fun. Anyway, um, considering it's from a quick service restaurant of uh, Arby's, man, and the size of it. Don't get me wrong. I mean, this is basically a six inch sub. Um, I like Arby's. I like their flavors. Rarely ever disappoint. I'm going to go 6.8. Yeah. I mean, considering what it is, it's, it, it's pretty much a 6.8. Now, why am I saving half this sub when clearly I could devour it real easily? It's because what some of y'all have been waiting for, the announcement that, how about this? We'll just do, unveil it this way. League of Fire. It's part of the reason I started this channel. One of the main reasons. Oh, excuse me. Wow. Um, 
to get going. And I finally got it from the UK. Great Britain. Sorry, guys. I know my accent's probably pretty bad. But anyway, um, League of Fire. Chug Challenge version 2. Got five of them. And the rules. You got one or two ways. Hot shots or half the contents in a clear glass. Chug the hot sauce from the glass. Wait three minutes, then pour the remaining sauce into the glass and repeat. Last must be empty. Wait three minutes. You have accomplished the challenge. Well, couldn't order these without the official League of Fire shot glass. If you do the hot shot version, it's going to go about right there. About right there. <clears throat> or the turbo chug. You can do and it's a four minute afterburn. So got five of these. Now, while I was there on the website, I decided to Yeah, okay. You gotta crack these open on a live feed or a full non edited feed. So that's why I'm not even cracking them up and smell them. But we got the League of Fire. And this Primus. Why am I turning this the wrong way? Oh, there we go. On the 21st July 2019, the League of Fire was launched. To celebrate one year of the League of Fire. Magnificent, sorry. Sorry, League of Fire. My bad. We present Anis Primus. Barbecue hot sauce. Enjoy. It is got three three chilies hot. It is tomato, bell pepper, brown sugar, onion, celery, chilies, Scotch bonnet, 2.5%, Naga 1.25%, and Scorpion 1.25%. We'll get to that in just a second. Red wine vinegar, apple cider vinegar, Henderson's relish which is water, spirit vinegar, sugar color, caramel, sugar syrup, salt, tamarinds, acetic acid, acid, cayenne pepper, cloves, sweetener, garlic oil, <clears throat> soy sauce, water, soybeans, wheat, salt, tomato puree, vegetable oil, garlic, and spices. I'm actually going to try this here in just a second. Hopefully this tastes pretty good. But wait, there's more. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm being cheesy. But happy birthday to me. The Death Nut Challenge. My wife got me this. And something else. Got some more for you. <clears throat> this is Five progressively hotter peanuts fused with the world's hottest peppers. Can you handle it? Heat level mild. Getting started. Carolina Reaper. You got to eat two or three at a time. Looks like two, three, three, three. Maybe three more. The only reason I'm not opening it to show you all right now is because part of the challenge is opening it when you do the challenge. So getting started is Carolina Reaper's chocolate blue little pepper. Warming up Carolina Reaper and ghost peppers. Sounds kind of backwards. But anyway, uh, Carolina Reaper, seven pot brain strain peppers. That's level three, which is still considered medium. The first two were considered mild. Okay, whatever, dude. <laughs> uh, level four is pain set sins. Two times Carolina Reaper and then seven pot Dougal peppers. 
And then it's level number five, which is the Death Nut. <laughs> anyway, uh, two times Carolina Reapers, Aruga Scorpion, and 13 million Scoville Capsaicin Crystals. What's new in version 2.0? We started with the new Reaper blends using the six hottest peppers on the earth and improving coating, better process of flavor and crunch. Then we added a pure 13 million scoville capsaicin crystals to death nut, creating a new level of heat we've never experienced before. Stupid hot, the death nut challenge is perfect gift for any spicy food lover or hot sauce aficionado. Now, I think the rules are you've got to do like you got to chew them for like 15 seconds and then there's a two minute afterburn per um, per level something like that I'll probably go live on Facebook and or um, YouTube and we'll do that this is not a League of Fire challenge but it is pretty cool I want to try to get this done Pretty soon. But speaking of, okay, well, well, first of all, my wife and I have a running joke about these nuts. And then Craig Robinson put out a commercial about two years ago during the, the, the Super Bowl about Deets nuts, which is Deets and Watson. And, and we joked about that. It was a hilarious commercial. Anyway, turns out Deets from Deets and Watson nuts are basically chops of, I don't know, some kind of pro, uh, you know, summer sausage, that type of stuff. And you can't really order them from there, which is kind of funny. But anyway. So I made a joke about a birthday which just passed here recently, and uh, she still found these. D's nuts. These are Cool Ranch and Sriracha peanuts. I'm gonna try these in just a minute after I do what I'm about to do. So, what I'm going to do is, oh, wait a minute. I almost forgot. The sign bottle of the Tube of Terror from Johnny Scoville. And Blazing Foods at a short Charlotte, North Kekalak. Anyway. These are Jumbo XL, Virginia Peanuts, Pure Cane Sugar, Carolina Reaper Peppers, Pepper Ghost, or Peppers, Ghost, Chocolate Bula, Seven Brain, Seven Pot Brain Strain, Seven Pot Dougla, Maruga Scorpions, Sea Salt, and those 13 million capsaicin crystals plus spice. And the thing with this is for the challenge, no food or drink, you have 10 minutes to finish the tube by eating only one to two peanuts at a time. And then you have a five minute afterburn after the final peanut to complete the challenge. And here's the fact, oh, reading that, almost everybody, including Johnny, kind of makes it to where you, you got to eat the whole 10. No matter if you finish before the 10 minutes, you have to wait the full 10 minutes. And then you have the five minute afterburn. But the way this reads, you have 10 minutes to finish the two by eating only one or two peanuts at a time. <clears throat> that, I'm not going to challenge it like officially or anything like that. That says that if you finish it under 10 minutes, then you just, all you got to do is wait for five minutes after break. That being said, it's still going to suck. I'm probably 
because this one was a birthday present. As I said, signed by the man himself, Johnny Scoville. I'm probably going to keep this one in order. Two more. And Johnny has said that if you want to get a hotter, uh, uh, figure out, uh, what, was, what am I trying to say? Raise your tolerance that you eat one or two of those peanuts a day. So I'll probably do that for one, two, and then maybe I'll try the two with terror. But until then, <laughs> we'll do this first. We'll do that first. Yeah. And probably this before that. That's the, those are the nuts in the death nut challenge. <clears throat> so, uh, let's pull out a little spoon and check out this NS Primus inaugural year, pretty much. Hot barbecue sauce. Straight from the League of Fire. Uh, Matt was great. Um, we had a little small, small, slight issue. Something didn't register right. And as soon as I asked a question, he he answered me the next morning, maybe even that night. Hmm. Hmm. Oops, got a little bit on the nose. It's got a little bit of that smell that I'm not sure I'm like with hot sauces, but we're going to go for it. There we go. Can't really tilt it towards the camera, but it's almost over for one. You see, this is why I got it. I want to see how hot this was before I was able to see how hot this was. Mmm. Oh my goodness. I expected it to be hot, but that caught me a little bit by surprise, especially in the back of the throat. I'm gonna go for another one. Yeah, that actually pretty. It's got a little bit of that taste that I don't like with heat. With most or some hot sauces. But it's pretty good. Mm. You can definitely tell it's got naga peppers, scotch bonnets, and scorpions. Woo! So this has got three peppers with the third one being a hot. This one's got two green peppers and one, two, three, four, five red hot peppers. Yay. <clears throat> I might as well crack open these sriracha branches.
This is actually pretty good. I mean, really good. I'm not that big of a peanut fan. So here's their information. That's pretty good. I like those. So, we'll put the Primus on the Sammy. And then we'll be out of here. This is not going to be fun, but I'll announce when I'm ready to go. All right. That's it for tonight. Talk to y'all later. Have a good one.